If I may quickly bump into what you're saying, the question I asked was whether or not Nigerians are forgiven the People's Democratic Party, since your party asked for forgiveness the other time. But the question is that if you look at the configuration of the Nigerian political mathematics, if you may, uh, how do you hope that going into this campaign that you may be able to win this election? Let me, let me, let me, let me say, Sheon, let me say that uh, Prince Uche Sokondus is an honorable man. He will take responsibility not only for his acts, but for also the acts of his predecessors. Having apologized to Nigerians, it showed that the PDP has a large heart, that the PDP has men of honor, and that the PDP will live up to their words. This is what had happened. And uh, that, that particular action of the national chairman of the party has now shown that the PDP is the party to trust and the PDP is the party to whom trust can be uh, given to. Having said that, uh, I think Nigerians have already forgotten the PDP because all the actions of the PDP which, which Nigerians found despicable in the last 16 years of their administration had now been completely transferred to the ruling party of the APC. Take any thief. Take any rogue, take any murderer in the Nigerian political, uh, among the Nigerian political elite. They have now moved and found, uh, uh, found uh, protection in the APC. The APC is no more the party of saints, as most Nigerians were told before. They were people that can never keep any promise. Since they came into power, they say something in the morning and in the evening, they change. All right. fact, uh, since APC I'm talking to uh, an experienced, just a moment again, since I'm talking to an experienced politician, I, I know that I'm coming from the northern region of the country where we have perhaps some of the largest vote bank. Considering the history of your candidate in the PDP, Atiku Abubakar, and the history of the candidate of the APC, what gives you the confidence that your party candidate, Atiku Abubakar, is a match? for the candidate of the APC, Muhammad Buhari? Well, that is definite. I know if, uh, as, as a fact that shown himself, when given the opportunity to use his uh, PVC, would never vote for any candidate of the APC because they have not lived up to expectation. They, are, they were a disappointment. They, they've never kept the promise. They have never provided security. They have never to, to, taken Nigerians out of poverty. They have never secured the lives and properties of Nigerians, which is the primary responsibility of any government all over the world. So why should you vote for such people? This is the issue. They are nepotic. They are selfish. And... Uh, and, right. uh, I like and you, Adima, because we have, we have just uh, some seconds to, uh, to, to wrap up this conversation right here. It's interesting you are saying this because you are a foundation member of that party, the APC, and these allegations are some of the things that you are raising uh, because you're part of that formation in the last three and a half years or so. But uh, conclude this conversation, if you may, in about three and a half, uh, uh, I mean, in about a few seconds. Tell us, going into this election, do you think that Nigerians can trust the PDP in areas of restructuring that they have promised, for example? Hello? If you can hear me, maybe I should, I should come again with that question. Uh, the, the question I'm asking is that if in a few seconds, if you can quickly do it, this for us, can Nigerians trust the People's Democratic Party that says it wants to stay on the issues, on some of the promises that he has made, for example, on the issues of restructuring? In 30 seconds, if you can weigh in. Well, uh, we said we will structure the country. Structuring the country has got di different facets. It depends from which angle you will look at it. It is our view that when we come into power, we will provide an inclusive government for all Nigerians. When we assume power, every Nigerian will have the feeling and the trust that he belongs. There will be no exclusion, All right. and, that po uh, and, and that states and local governments will be encouraged to develop at their own pace, will be encouraged to, 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 to uh, put economic policies 
that would assist them develop their communities, develop their localities, develop their areas, and that uh, 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 citizens of this country would have a sense right. of belonging, not we only have a to, sense of belonging. We have to keep it at that, uh, Alaji Boba Galadima. Uh, that's uh, the much that we can take on the program on that and this particular conversation. Uh, but as campaigns are open, we will trouble you in the coming days to get your views and these are some of the issues that you, you say you will stay on and, 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 and take you on on it. Thank just, you so much, Alaji Galadima. We have to go. We take a break, everyone. And when we return, we switch gears. And the issues of the APC and the post-primary crisis get our attention. Next on the program, everyone. Join us again. Thank you.